Hi there, and welcome to my channel, Lifestyle of a DIYer. In today's video, we are updating some lamps. A couple of them are thrifted and a couple of them are my own. A couple of things you want to consider when you're buying lamps from a thrift store is number one, what is the age of the lamp? Like I found this cool milk glass lamp and I didn't test it at the store because I didn't care. I was buying it either way. I figured I would change the wiring out if, if necessary. So when I got it home and I plugged it in, it, there was this loud explosion. It took out all the power in my craft room. It blew out the GFI. So an electrician had to come and fix all of that. So just make sure if your lamp's old, don't, don't even plug it in. Just know you're gonna have to change the wiring, which I will be doing in an upcoming video. Both of the thrifted lamps in today's video, I had lampshade issues. The, the first lamp didn't come with a lampshade. I didn't think that would be any big deal, but it was. I could not figure out what kind of lampshade went on this lamp. And the other lamp, the lampshade, it's just a unique lamp and I could not just replace the lampshade. So anyway, you'll have to see how I um, dealt with both those. So just a couple things to consider when you're buying a lamp. This is always my reminder to think about the lamp that I'm buying before I purchase it. These are the before pictures of the lamps I'm going to update today. These lamps are all the same style and they look so good once they're painted. And today I'm using Fusion Mineral Paint. The color for the first lamp is Eucalyptus. This color is so pretty. I know why this lamp was donated. It was so wiggly jiggly. I could not get it tightened, but I figured out a way to at least make it straight at the end. I painted the entire lamp and it took about two and a half coats to cover everything. Because this type of paint has a built-in sealer, I don't really need to use clear wax first. It's just my insurance that the dark wax doesn't go on too dark. I also sanded it a little just to give it a little extra distress. This lamp didn't come with a lampshade, so I have lots of baskets. I can't turn down a good basket at a thrift store. So I painted the baskets in heirloom white. The baskets were a little too white, so I wanted to give them a little distress too. So I first used the clear wax and then I used the dark wax. The spray paint was a satin finish, so I was afraid the dark wax would go on way too dark and I couldn't get it off. So that's why I used the clear wax first. It helps you control how dark that dark wax gets. And you can also use it over the dark wax to, as an eraser if you get it someplace that's too dark. I had this round circle already. I think I got it at Dollar Tree, maybe Hobby Lobby, but I wanted to put it on first to put a little space between the basket and the light bulbs. I also drilled holes in the center of the baskets. At this point, I'm not sure my idea is gonna work out, so you'll have to let me know at the end what you think of this. I put an old piece of drop cloth in the basket first, added my styrofoam, and then added the ferns. And I got the ferns off of Amazon. And here it is. In this picture, the top looks pretty big, but when you see it in the whole room, it actually looks okay. I, it's growing on me. And I, I wasn't quite sure at first, but I really like it now. On to lamp number two, and this is my lamp. I think it's a little more difficult to paint something that's not thrifted that you spent a lot of money on, or maybe not a lot of money, but 
more than a thrifted item. But if you don't love it, you might as well update it. Sweetness could reach everyone, there'd be no wars. Mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper. All the lamps in today's video, I did the same way with the wax. I used the clear wax first, and then I used the dark wax. When you're doing a project and you're deciding between a chalk paint and a mineral paint, there are a couple things you want to remember. A chalk paint you have to seal when you're done, but before you seal it, it is way easier to distress because you can wet distress it. With just a wet rag or towel, you don't have to use sandpaper. But when you use mineral paint, it has a built-in sealer, like I said before, and you the only way to distress it is by using sandpaper. Maybe there is a star with your name. One thing I know is that All of the lamps in today's video are out of my dining room, and I couldn't believe the difference having these lamps painted in a brighter color. They were so dark before, and they really made the room dark. I'm loving the brighter colors. The lighting's not great, but here's the lamp all painted. I just love this blue color. I didn't want everything to be matchy-matchy, so I used Fusion Mineral Paint in Champness. It's a, it's more of a baby blue, but I knew I'd be using the dark wax, so it wouldn't, so it'd fit in with the rest of them. This is a thrifted lamp, and I thought it was really cute, but the lampshade, you can't replace it, so I needed to figure out what to do with the lampshade. So one thing to consider when you're buying a lamp is make sure you can either replace the lampshade or somehow update it People talking. and when i remember to turn on my overhead lights you can really see the true color i decided to paint the lampshade and i was pretty happy with the way it turned out i used a white chalk paint i can't remember which one but when i turned on the light this is how it turned out. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do yet. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke. Well, it's been about a week since I recorded that last voiceover because it took me that long to figure out what I was gonna do. And I decided to use transfers on the lampshade, but I needed to repaint the base of the lamp and I had just waxed it, so I had to use cred cutters to get that wax off so it would be ready for the next coat of paint. And this time I painted it in Victorian lace. I don't show it here, but I also painted the lampshade in the same color, Victorian lace. When you paint fabric, it gets a little stiff and rough feeling, so I went over it in some, with some sandpaper. Oh, the darkness starts to fade. Feels like I used the Redesign with Prima Decor Transfer in Twal. And the package comes with this wooden tool that you use to apply the transfers. You just pick out the transfer you want, figure out where you want it to go, and you rub over the top of it with the wooden tool. Mm -hmm. 
I just continued rubbing over the transfer until it adhered to the lampshade. I decided to use the transfers because I was hoping it would disguise the area on the lampshade that didn't look so great because I painted it. It definitely looked better, but you could still see that area a little bit. And I just continued working my way around the lampshade, and it probably took about an hour to get all the transfers on. But I was really happy with the way it turned out. How do you think it turned out? I'd love to know. These styles of lamps are pretty common at the thrift store. Maybe not finding a pair like this, but these are mine. These are on my um, buffet in my dining room. But I went to the thrift store just to see how many lamps in this style there were just on one visit. And I think there were four. I'm gonna put some pictures up so you can see. So I think these are pretty common if you like this style or would like to try this. And here is the before of my lamp, and here is the after. While I was waiting for inspiration to hit for my one difficult lamp, I decided to stop into Salvation Army, a place I never go because it's not one of my favorites and I found this mirror. Two good things about this mirror. One, it's plastic, so it's not very heavy. And two, it was half price. I never find anything half price. And you already know how I did it. Clear wax and then dark wax. I hope one of these projects today inspired you to try something new. I'd love to know what you think of these makeovers today. Let me know and let me know if you think that basket one was just way too much. If you like these kind of DIY videos, I'd love for you to subscribe, ring that bell and you'll know every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.